Greetings, my friends. It is I, Kolar the Unkilled. And the time for revelry is done. The prophecy must be fulfilled. For as the World Eater wakes, the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. The heroes await me, so let us get on with this. At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, you'll hasten forth to smite the worm wherever he lurks. Oh, comrades, let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy blue is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The World Eater, coward, fears you, Dragon. We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheath our blades in desperate battle with our black wing foe. To battle, my friends! The field will echo the clamor of war, our wills undaunted. Is it so strange that Shores Hall, this Savangard, this world of Aetherius, should feel so familiar, so much like home? All right, come, my friends. For I am not allowed to draw my weapon within the hall. They can, but I cannot. I tried. What? Gormlaith, you have no head. Why is Gormlaith headless? Oh, by the gods. What sorcery is this? <laughs> you the eyes of shore are pointless. <laughs> this completely ruins the mood, but I I hesitate to restart. Um <laughs> Clear skies, combine our shouts. Yes, shout Gormlaith. I want to see that. Look! My friends, have you ever seen this? I have never seen this before. This is completely ruining the mood that I was trying to instill for this scene. But you know what? Let's go with it. Let's just go with it. Again! Look! I don't believe it. I'm gonna have to get some screenshots of this. Does his strength have no end? Is our struggle in vain? Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more and his might will be broken! Very well, once more unto the mist. Vakur! <laughs> All right, now. Dragon Rind is ready. The endless wait gives <laughs> way to battle. There he is. I've never been good at hitting him in mid-flight. Ah, but he's going to... He's going to do that. Nice. The rest should not be so difficult. Whoa. Uh-oh. 
I let him get away. Time for some potions. And my friends, do not forget, this is Savage Alduin. Take out his leg! Hitting him? There we go. Ah. Ah. Shout. Shout. Why did my shout? Okay. No matter. Now he's fully healed. Then my shout did not respond. We're going to have to take him out all at once. What? Soon, get over here and help. Now then, waste no time. Must do as much damage as we can. Not let him get back off the ground. Oh, this is a mess. Fully healed again. He's not focusing on me. Shout! Come on! Ah! We've done it! We've done it! We have done it! Alduin falls to the last Dragonborn. Okay. That... That went well. Suspiciously well. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, <laughs> I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. Okay, will somebody return Gormlaith her head? Even here, where heroes strong, few can match this mighty deed. What glory! The gods themselves must envy us this well-earned honor. My friends, at this point in the episode, I wish to give... A thundering, heartfelt thumb out to John Rose, or as he calls himself these days, Sky King, for he has released, <laughs> he has recently released Skyland High Hrothgar. Now, as you can see from my textures here, this is not Skyland High Hrothgar, it is much too massive a mod for me to be able to fit into my load order at this point. But if you see the screenshots, if you read the description, it looks and sounds amazing. And according to the description, he does plan to incorporate it into Skyland All-in-One at some point. 
But I will tell you this, whenever that happens, I will be getting rid of whatever I need to to make the space to update the Skyland All-in-One so that it includes Skyland High Hrothgar. Um, read the description um, for the mod. If you haven't already, it's, it's quite hilarious, uh, honestly. You know, but one thing he points out is that this is a place that you might visit twice in one playthrough. And for myself or anybody else who plays a serious Dragonborn playthrough, that simply isn't true. Someone like myself, as Kolar, is here often, often enough to keep coming back and asking Arngear for the next word of power. I want to collect all of the shouts. And such is, you know, that makes it worth it to include something like Skyland High Hrothgar, which I have just been dying for for a long time. So Thum out a two John Rose, to me there is no substitute for Skyland. He is one of my favorite mod authors, and typically wherever his textures are involved, I feel that they are the best of what is available. So, this is no paid endorsement, I just really like his mods. On a slightly different note, um, the man himself actually has a Christmas album that he's put out. If you go to johnmichaelrose.com, you can listen to Christmas music sung by Sky King himself. And I must say, it's actually really quite good, honestly. Um, he has the, uh, the voice of someone with a lot of soul, and it, 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 sounds like, it sounds like it's coming from someone much older. So check it out. And, well, that will officially be the end of my Skyland High Hrothgar endorsement. But I feel very strongly for the Skyland mods. We'll be adding that to my load order as soon as I can. And where the hell is Arngear? This man is always so damn hard to find. Let me turn my lantern back on. Arn gear. There should be a shout. There should be a call Arn gear shout. You just walk in here and Arn gear. And there he is. Maybe he's outside. Does anyone know? Is there a designated a, a designated spot where Arn gear can be found once you defeat? Oh yes, it's over here, isn't it? Sorry for my aimless wandering and rambling, as I look for the man. Here he is. Here they all are. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods and returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? Yes, I went to Sovngarde and I killed Alduin there. Or he's as dead as I can make him. I hope so. Hmm. Who is to say if Alduin can ever truly be destroyed on gear? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Dragons are not like normal mortal creatures, and Alduin. No, they are not. Is unique. Even among dragon kind, he may be permitted to return at the end of time to fulfill his destiny as the world eater. But that is for the gods to decide. You have done your part. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide, and the path of wisdom. Very interesting what he says here. Breath and focus. Dragonborn, your future lies before you. 
So I'll elaborate on that in just a moment. Oh yes, ah, uh, the blades want me to kill Parthenax. Can you believe it? Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Is it true? Was he Alduin's ally? Yes, but understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. All dragons. That's right. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Do not worry, Arngir. I'm not going to kill Parthenax. Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Okay. Sky above, voice within. So... A hero to some, a curse to others. But Arngir also said, will I or will my deeds simply fade away? Isn't that typically what happens? In the Elder Scrolls universe, from game to game, the prisoner, the one who goes through and completes whatever main quest it is, and also other important deeds throughout history. Throughout the Elder Scrolls universe, that character always does tend to fade into obscurity. And it is that... It is that nature of the prisoner which allows us the freedom to do and act and behave in any way we see fit during these games. And yes, my friends, there is an Elder Scrolls canon. There is. Do not listen to this talk that there is no canon. Things have happened in the Elder Scrolls universe. Things have happened which we know about and can verify. Although it's not always possible to verify who has done the deed. But what do you think regarding Elder Scrolls canon? will become of The Last Dragonborn in the next installment, in Elder Scrolls VI. Well, that is a topic for another time, my friends. For now, it is time to be off to the next adventure. I have unfinished business with the Blades, and Delphine specifically. Although... Hmm. They've been doing some recruiting. Very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So, my friends, before we get on to business with Delphine, let us take a look as I turn off my lantern to prevent lighting conflicts, let us take a look at the interior Skyhaven Temple. We'll see what kind of progress Esbern and Delphine have made with the Blades and their recruiting. And indeed, this place looks much different now, does it not? Bolar. Need something. Bolar, as in Bolar's Oath Blade? We heard the news from White Run that you left the city on the back. That's a little. I, uh, I'll talk to you later. So we've got some furniture. We've got a map of Skyrim. A chest, a forge. Okay, and even though my lantern is off, I'm still getting lighting conflicts. That must be stemming from the ELE lighting mod. Hey, look at this. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, how creepy is that? That is outstanding. 
Nesbit, is that intentional or is that my load order that's causing this? I know the light, uh, the lighting is is the ELE uh, conflicting. I I understand that. I'm willing to put up with that for sure. Look at this. Living mannequins. So we have alchemy and chanting. We have smoking candles. Nice. Bookshelves. Lots of mannequins. So I wonder if I dress them in armor, if they will still appear to be um, sentient. <laughs> That's great. That is great. A lot of people would consider that a problem, but I honestly think that's... Um, I mean, it's not lore-friendly. It is a bit immersion-breaking. But uh, it's kind of fun, nonetheless, is it not? More mannequins. They all appear to be sentient. That is... Uh, Oh my goodness, so, so far, uh, during this uh, particular video, we have Headless Gormlaith, and now we have Sentient Mannequins. This is turning out to be quite the episode. But what do you think, my friends? Ooh, Firestar. I love the idea of having more blades within this place than just the potential three which one can recruit, in addition to uh, the main two, obviously. So, let's take a look in here. Oh, okay, wait. This is the storage room where we found Dragon's Bane. Let us have a look within the, the sleeping quarters. Okay, not much in the way of additions here. It's just a little bit better lit. There are always things to find within the chests. And of course, right now it says stealing because I am currently an outcast from the blades. Well, my friends, I believe it is time to deal with that particular quandary. Where is Delphi? Drem your look. Greetings. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgriforwut se suliech. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Words of wisdom. Sum Ark Mora. So, my friends, the scene that you are about to see, which I am going to act out, and I have to act it out, because the dialogue is unvoiced for Delphine, but this is only possible with the mod, the Parthenax Dilemma. And this is a mod that allows you to spare Parthenax and yet still remain with the Blades. So, let us see what transpires. My oath binds me, Dragonborn. Until Parthenax is dead, you aren't welcome here. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. 
I have decided to spare his life. Dragonborn, that's not your decision to make. Parthenax is evil and needs to answer for his crimes. So that's your answer. Revenge? I thought the blades were better than this. The atrocities he committed against mankind were evil and unforgivable. This isn't about revenge. We wouldn't even be here to discuss this if it weren't for Parthenax. Are you so blind as to let that dragon manipulate you into this? You have no idea what you're dealing with. Letting him live is dangerous. So, did you question the authority of Remen Cyrodiil or Tiber Septim in this way? Those were different times, and proven leaders. No one had reason to question either one of them. You realize, without Parthenax, Tiber Septim could not be who he was, right? A nice attempt to deflect the issue, but this is not going to change anything. That dragon has to die for his crimes, regardless of who you invoke. Bruniik, savages! That is what you have become, as bad as the Thalmor. How dare you even suggest such a thing? You test our patience. I see the Greybeards were right about you as well, bloodthirsty barbarians. You go too far, Dragonborn. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put you down right now as a traitor to the cause. Drechni fus bahi! You do not force my wrath if you know what's good for you. By the gods, the power of the tongues. Very well, I have no desire to die here today. Are you sure this is what you want? Parthenax will be spared. Honor my decision. We will not speak of this again. Very well, Dragonborn. Though it goes against our better judgment, we will abide by your decision and allow Parthenax to live. And that's it. There you have it. So I think the the scripting, the dialogue there is, I think it's rather well written. Well enough, don't you think? So now, we can carry on with the blades um, in uh, whatever sorry state they may be in, but it's improving. We can continue to improve it. We can recruit further members. And Parthenax gets to live. So what do you think, my friends? Do you kill Parthenax? Do you agree with letting him live? I know of very few people who actually believe that Parthenax deserves to die. And here's the thing. I have only killed him one time ever. In fact, it was on my very first playthrough. And it wasn't even intentional. I didn't mean to kill him, but during the fight with Alduin at the throat of the world, somehow, somehow Parthenax became aggroed against Lydia. Or Lydia against Parthenax, one of the two. But he was aggroed nonetheless. At the time, I didn't have the knowledge of the game to... I didn't even think to go back and reload a save or anything like that. I just went with it, and I killed him. But that is the one time. And so it is, my friends, after the defeat of Alduin the World Eater, after returning to Shores Hall for celebration and further revelry, so it is that Kolar discovers his true nature. He realizes for the first time that Shore is not present in Shores Hall. He cannot be. For the last dragonborn is the very avatar of Shore. This, however, is not the end of the dragonborn's journey. He still has much to do and much to accomplish. The end? No. 
In fact, this is only the beginning. Never good at hitting dragons in mid flight. Oh. Oh. Savage Alduin.